installment in my zombie uh, movie review series. This time we're going to be reviewing the 2005 George A. Romero's Land of the Dead. Now this is an interesting movie. Um, I'm assuming if you guys are watching this you've probably seen it. It's a pretty popular one in my personal opinion if you're big into the horror uh, movies or zombie movies. Um, I have my likes and dislikes of this movie, I mean obviously like most movies, but this one kind of catches me off guard a little bit. I've seen it a bunch of times, um, and it's kind of your generic take on the zombie premise, but then expanded to the point of, you know, most zombie movies we see besides like Zombieland and a few other ones. Um, we're seeing the zombie virus spread. Like, we're seeing the first, it first happening and seeing people's reaction. In this movie, you are seeing it, I don't think it says the time, like, the gap between when the virus first started. But it's obviously quite a big, big time period. I mean, people have fortified this entire city to an extent. Um, I don't know how big it is. It's mainly like, there's a massive hotel-looking building, skyscraper, and then there's people around it and they fortified that area with military and guns and turrets and uh, electric fences and everything. Um, so it's interesting on that aspect that you're kind of seeing them just living with it. It's kind of like Walking Dead, obviously not the first season, but once they get into like Alexandria, it's kind of like that, where you know, they're trying to live as normal possible lives they can, can with what's going on. Now that aspect I love. It's really cool. Um, I know I said I usually in the last videos I really aren't a, is I'm not a fan of that usually. But with this one, with George Romero doing it, he did a really good job at showing that side of it, but then also showing. Let me set my phone down when I'm dropping it. Showing the the part I want to see: the zombies and them fighting and stuff like that. It's not just about them surviving. Um, it's focused around one main group of people in this colony, I guess you could call it. And they're the ones that go out and scavenge and um, get weapons and food and medicine, whatever they need. Um, and all that's awesome. I like all that. You know, the characters, I, some characters are a little over the top, some are kind of dull. But for the most part, it, it's well directed and well uh, scripted. The only part in the movie I do not like... And it could just be I'm not used to it, because there's been only one other one that I've seen that does this, but it does it to a lot smaller extent, and that is the zombies are intelligent. Now, I don't just mean they know how to hunt, you know, or anything like that, kind of like World War Z zombies were. They actually remember, or they start to remember their past lives. So through this movie, I'm not, I mean, I don't know if you're going to call it a spoiler, but if so, then spoiler right now. You see the zombies remembering who they were before they got bitten or turned. Um, so you're slowly seeing them start to remember the things they did, like whether it was their job, stuff they enjoyed doing, whatever, and they start doing that. So that's the premise of this movie, is you got these people that have colonized an area that are surviving, and you have this group of zombies that are learning and remembering things and kind of figuring out how to overtake these people that have protected themselves for so long, for however long it is. So that premise, it's interesting. Like I said, I'm kind of mixed on it. Um, and I think it's just because it's not really happened much in these movies. I mean, there could be some other ones that I've never watched that are like that. Um, and there's one main zombie. He's kind of like the leader, I guess. And I can't remember his name. He's, um... Oh, crap, what's his name? Good job at being that zombie. Like, I guess, like I said, I'm still kind of mixed on it, but as far as I'm assuming what they told him to do and him putting it on screen, it did a good job. I feel like he did it as accurate as you could for what the situation was. Um, but, like I said, again, it's just kind of... It's different to me. Um, but, uh, so, I mean, it's, it's hit or miss, I'm trying to find the person's name I was going to talk about, um, it's hit or miss, 
Some people's gonna love it. Some people's gonna hate it. Like I said, personally for me, the m most of the movie I enjoyed. Um, it shot well. There's not a whole bunch of CGI really because you're not seeing an overly massive amount of zombies at once like World War Z did. You're seeing maybe 20 or 30 at a time, which is obviously very doable with just makeup effects and stuff like that. Um, in my opinion, honestly, the person who made this movie, for me, I don't always butcher his name, but it's John Legliazamos, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, he's kind of like the, the asshole of the movie, honestly. But you really enjoyed him, like, you, to, actually to an extent, even though he's the, kind of the bad guy, you rooted for him. Um, and he wasn't, I wouldn't go as far as saying he's like a villain of the movie. He was just kind of a shady guy, which in the zombie apocalypse, shit happens. I mean, you know. Um, but really, honestly, him mainly is who made, like, as far as character-wise and actor-wise, made me like the movie more. Because um, there's a few other people in here I've recognized here and there, but I can't give you their names or think of anything they're in besides Eddie Murphy's brother. So he really did it for me. Um, and like I said, overall, it's a good movie. Um, shot well, definitely got that dark apocalyptic vibe to it with the little uh, village or civilization they have set up. Um, directed well. The writing, I feel like it's pretty good. I mean, there's some lines that's kind of cheesy and generic, but then for the most part, the characters, I feel like they gave them all their own personalities without going too, digging too far into their backstories, which I personally don't mind. I don't really care about the backstories of most of the characters in any type of movies. So they did a good job on that. And I mean, it's George Romero, you know, he knows what he's doing with the zombie movies. I mean, he's he might not be the one that created zombies, but he's the one that's made the genre what it is today. And without him, most of these movies I'm, I'm gonna talk about on this list would not have happened at all. Um, but so that's my review on the movie. I'll give a rating. Um, I guess I'll do, like I said, what I did with uh, Day of the Dead, where I did two separate ratings. I did one of an overall movie quality, and then one as a zombie genre quality. So for movie quality, like I said, it was written relatively well, directed well, makeup was good, acting was fine. Um, I would give it, in my opinion, about a 7. Um, just for movie quality. Obviously, that's going to differ on people because some people might hate these movies or horror movies, so they're going to, you know, not even get anywhere near that high. But for me, I like horror movies, and so I'm not going to be a little more biased, but I'm going to go with a 7 for movie quality. And then for zombie quality, like I said, besides the smart, uh, the zombies being smart, which necessarily isn't a bad thing, it's just different and I'm not used to it. Besides that, I mean, it was pretty on point for what you'd expect. So for that, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for a zombie quality movie. Um, so this is the third installment into my zombie review series. The next one will probably be Zombieland, most likely. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll find out. I'll have to rewatch it because it's been a little bit since I watched it. And then I might review that one next. So hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys later.